Hey, what's up guys? It's Nemo, and today as you can see, I've got the picture of the iPhone, iPhone 4 it is, running Cydia. Wow. Eh, well, it's not my iPhone 4, it's Joe Hutz. And this is what he has posted on, on his blog before the blogs got taken down and put private, invite only. I got one of these in the mail today and I figured I'll give it a shot. As far as release goes, it probably won't happen for me. So unfortunately, I'm not too sure what happened there, but he doesn't want to release it. Uh, maybe you guys pushed him too much, maybe you guys had too many comments asking for updates. I mean, this is what uh, the blog now, if you try to access his blog, this is what happened. It's It's been taken down. And this is the same thing as well for his Twitter account. Right, um, so does that mean that uh, Geohut is going to stop the jailbreak scene in the iPhone? Is he just going to let anyone else or someone else in the community to take over? Well, this is something that we're not too sure at the moment. But he had put someone as, as his proxy, as someone that he trusts very much, which is one of his mates, one of his friends, Mike Cohen. Uh, so Mike Cohen has actually put that recently, as you can see on the 21st, uh, on his Twitter. What's a good time to make it rain? So what does that mean? Does that mean that Jihad is actually still working on the, on the jailbreak? Or is he going to release it very soon? Or is someone else going to release it very soon? Um, so I think, I don't know, is Jihad concentrating more on the, on the PS3 hacking scene? I think he has done quite a lot so far. He, he had achieved hypervisor control, so one, which is on the device, which is one of the thing, the, the highest level of permission that anyone has actually done so far on the PS3, which is something that was released and people said it was unhackable. Well, Jihad has actually done this, so we're hoping something can be done there, but let's see. Uh, during La Nuit du Hack in French, which was done in, in Paris, it's a conference of, of hackers mainly, and he explained how he went out and jailbreak the first iPhone and the iPhone next generations and, and so on, and, and he went about talking about the PS3 as well. So when asked about the question if he's going to continue in the, in the PS3 hacking scene, he has said that he has done all the research on it, and he will gladly let anyone in the community to take over as you know he's done most of the things and uh, hopefully someone can can continue his work right let's come back to the iPhone itself so uh, what can we do for people that have you know if you guys have uh, 3.1 3 3.2 you know what's what's going on in the, on that way for the for the OS itself well there's one there's one tool now uh, that you guys can use it's called spirit so what spirit Spirit is an unfiltered jailbreak for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch on certain firmware versions. So it was created by uh, Comex and uh, CH Pound. Uh, hopefully I pronounced those, those names correct. It's unfortunately, uh, Spirit is not the carry unlock. So if you guys have already um, unlocked uh, your iPhones, then please don't use Spirit. If you currently are using uh, a third jailbreak, you have to restore to use uh, Spirit. So don't upgrade if you have or if you're using an unlock on the iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS. You can, however, restore it to 3.12. If you have your SHSH saved, obviously, if you have uh, Zurich, you probably have it saved on this website. So if you have by accident run Spirit, you know, using third jailbreak, then you have tried these instructions on any iPad, iPhone or iPod touch on firmware 3.12, 3.13 or 3.2 but not unfortunately on the 3.21. You have to have the device activated, not one stuck on the connect to iTunes or emergency call screen. You have to have any version of the iTunes 9 earlier than 9.2. Well, there's a fix for that for the 9.2. If, if you have iTunes 9.2, there's a fix, which I will also put the link in the description to download it. And you have to make sure that you sync with iTunes before trying to do that. Right, I will put in the description the link for the Spirit tool, basically to jailbreak your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch. But I will also put there, as I said, the, the link for the uh, fix for the iTunes 9.2. So uh, this is what it says. The best and the most easiest jailbreak tool has just been uh, updated unofficially because this is not the guys that have, who have created Spirit who has actually done the update. So this is now supporting iTunes 9.2. When Apple basically released iTunes 9.2, it broke the compatibility with the Spirit. And so this new version brings the required fix to make it compatible. So this fix for the iTunes 9.2 works on OS 3.13, 3.12 for iPhone 3GS, 3G, 2G, iPod Touch and OS 3.2 for iPads is also supported but it doesn't work for the OS 4 and for the iPhone 4. Uh, I will put the link so you can download it and I will also put a couple of links on the how to jailbreak iPhone 3GS, 3G, 2G and OS 3.13 with Spirit. 
how to jailbreak iPad on, on OS 3.2 with Spirit, how to jailbreak iPod Touch 3G and 2G on OS 3.13 with Spirit. Right, for those of you who have the iPhone 3GS with the new book ROM, the iPod Touch 2G MC model as well, and the iPod Touch 3G who upgraded to the OS 4 version, only to find out that you can't jailbreak, well, you have now a way to downgrade back to the OS 3.13 and jailbreak it using Spirit. The step-by-step -step guide, I will also put it down on how to downgrade it from OS 4 to OS 3.13. I will put the link in this description, but you have to remember that it only works if you have the SHSH saved for 3.13. I will also put it down on how to unlock. Unlock can be done on any baseband using your trust no 0.93. The instructions for this I will also put it down into the description of the video. So thanks guys for watching. So uh, just to summarize what we said, GeoHut is uh, apparently stepping out of the scene of the iPhone jailbreak, probably of the PS3 hack as well. We're not too sure yet. We have now also a fix available for the Spirit jailbreak, which is supporting iTunes 9.2. All the links, all the guides, which I've mentioned will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate this video, and I'll see you soon for another video.